Are you interested in spicing up your already awesome Discord channel by adding the best Dinobot music channel ever? Well, you're in luck. I'm Joachim B and I'm here to help you activate Dinobot's music feature on your Discord server while keeping spammers from nuking your channel. This guide covers you how to set up a basic music channel using Dinobot, configure enhanced features and security for the music module in Dinobot, and create the best music channel ever using Dinobot and custom commands. Throughout the guide I'll cover some pros, cons, tips and tricks, so please stick around for the next few minutes to see exactly how the Dinobot music module works. As you might have figured out by now, this guide relates to Dinobot and Discord. So if you haven't installed Dinobot on your Discord server yet, please check out my Dinobot guide which gives an overview of Dinobot and shows you how to add it to your Discord server. Now, step one, setting up a basic music channel in Discord using Dinobot. What you need to do is load up your Dino web dashboard. Head over to the modules tab under main settings and activate the music module. Next, click on the commands tab, then select music and select stop, play, cue, YT for YouTube and skip. The volume is obsolete so don't worry about that as you'll be using the volume in Discord's audio channel itself to adjust the Dinobot music volume. That's it! Music has now been added to your Dinobot. It will listen for any music commands from any of your text channels and it'll play the music to the audio channel which the user is connected to. For more information on what the music commands actually are in the Dinobot website, click on the commands at the top of the bar and then select the music tab. This will show you all the available commands that you can use for playing and managing your music lists. The key commands for me is the play, stop and cue commands. I have found the cue commands and the YouTube commands to essentially do the same thing and I'm wondering if the YouTube commands are more applicable to the paid Discord version because there you can actually save multiple playlists. On the free version you can't so I'm thinking that's where it comes into play. Now congratulations! Music has now been enabled on your Discord server using Dinobot. And this brings us to step 2. Configuring enhanced features and security for the music module in Dinobot. Man, I'm saying Dinobot a lot, but hey, it's a Dinobot video, so kinda go figure. You'll need two things. First, you'll need a dedicated text channel where you can execute the music commands from and then you'll need an audio channel where you can listen to the Dinobot streaming the audio. If you need help setting up these channels please see my channel role and permission videos linked in the cards and the description below. These form part of my how to discord series which should answer a lot of your questions. Now personally I called my channels music box to make it nice and streamlined and I even added an emoji to the channel. I'm not going to cover emojis at the moment, but if you're interested, I have linked the emoji website I use in the description below. Simply copy and paste the desired emoji into your channel name. Do note, however, that some emojis might have some side effects on some custom commands. So use it at your own risk and comfort levels. Now, once you have set up your channels, head back to the Dinobot website. Select the music tab under enabled modules and now what you want to do is select the limit commands to music channel options. This will ensure music will only be listened to on the channel you specify. Then specify the music channel by selecting it from the drop down box. If you want to specify a DJ role you simply need to select the role from the drop down. Now this won't actually do anything in particular unless you select limit commands mod DJ only which will if you do select that only allow music commands to be executed by members who are assigned the role of the DJ you selected. So I ticked this checkbox to repeat the playlist which means that the songs will not be removed from the playlist it will always be there. You can also opt to enable skip voting which requires 60% of the members listening to the music to skip vote before the song is actually skipped. So as far as I know the DJ roles and the moderators can actually bypass the skip vote but for everybody else you will need to have a majority of the members in the channel 
vote to skip the song. So now you've learned how to activate the music module in step one and you understand the music module settings as covered in step two. It's pretty straightforward. Next comes the juicy bit. In step three, I'll show you how to actually set up the best dyno music channel ever. And I'll show this to you by showing you how to create a clean and user-friendly music channel for your members, enable everyone to listen to the music, but also allow only special roles such as your Patreon supporters to add music to your playlist. And then the most important part, only allow your DJs and your moderators to remove songs from the playlist. This is crucial in order to protect your playlist from spammers in your channel come in and just destroy everything in your playlist. The default settings allows either only your DJs to use the Q command or it opens up to everybody. So with my custom commands, you'll have control over exactly who's allowed to perform which commands. So let's get started on that. As you can see in my Music Box Text channel, I've created a message showing exactly which roles can do what commands. Now, all of these commands are custom commands which override the normal music commands as well as clean up the channel and perform some permission checkings along the way. Note that I have pinned this message which also means that during my purge instructions in the custom commands that this message will not be removed. It's a nice clean way of giving instruction to your members of exactly what they can do in the channel. As a quick side note, I've changed the permissions on the audio channel to connect, speak and use voice activity only for all of the roles except for the moderators. You can of course change this to however you see fit. Now, in order for these commands to work as expected, you need to change the following music settings. So first, under the main settings command tab, deselect everything. This means that nobody will be able to use any of the built-in commands directly in the channel, but will still be able to execute those commands from the custom commands. Next, under the enabled modules, deselect limit command mod DJ only, and ensure the rest of the checkboxes are all ticked, and your music channel and your DJ roles are selected. The DJ role isn't really needed anymore, but I keep mine selected anyway. Then head to your custom commands and create the following commands. Now, I'll go over these commands, but if you're interested in the commands themselves, please join my Discord server, which is linked in the description below. There's also a video as part of the how to Discord series, which covers some nitty gritties of creating custom commands. But let's go over these and I'll explain what they do. So we have the play music. First command is delete. That simply just deletes the command that we entered. Uh, next, we've got require music box. So we will only execute this play music command as long as it's coming out of the music box channel. Next, we will purge the entire channel. And then I will execute the queue and list what is in the playlist. Next, I will actually play it. So the play music command will essentially clean up the entire... Let's go over here. So there's the show list. Cleans it up, shows you the list. Now, if I want to play, I need to go into the music box and then I will go play music, it'll delete the command, it'll show the entire list, and it'll start playing. And the same, oh well, and the same for stop music. Okay, so as you can see, the stop music command deletes the command, requires the music box, all of these commands require the music box, cleans out the channel, the purge 1000, lists, and then stops the music. Show list just shows the list. Next, shows the list and then votes for a skip or if you're the moderator it just skips. Play number. So play number requires my elevated roles. So if you're a knight, a magi or a dragon slayer then you will actually be able to use this command. And this command allows you to play and then whatever the parameter is that you mention. So that would be play number six, and I will be able to start exactly with number six. 
Next, we've got Add Song. Now again, Knights, Magi, Dragon Slayers, they can all add a song and we will play and then take the first parameter plus any title descriptions next to it. So that'll be Enter Sandman from Metallica and it'll take the entire line. The Q command can only be done by the Guardians, which is the DJs or the moderators. And this Q command just passes the parameter straight through into the default Q command. Now I have found that the Q command doesn't populate the standard Q help information with only this override command. So I created a Q help command, which just shows you what we can do. I'll show you all these things over here. So the end result is a nice and clean channel, which always shows the playlist to the members. And whenever commands are entered in the channel, the channel is cleaned up. Now, you'll not need to worry about any spammers nuking your playlists, as nobody can actually remove anything other than your guardians. Because the Q command is the only one that can actually, if I go Q help, this is the Q help, and they are the only ones that can actually remove the song from, from the music queue, from the playlist. So if I want to, just to show you that Q, no parameters, it just doesn't do anything, unfortunately, right? So let's just go show list again, clean it up nicely. So every time that any one of these commands are executed, it cleans up the channel and shows you exactly what's going on. Now, by overriding the Q command, your moderators, DJs, will still have the required tools to manage the playlists, but it is done through the custom commands, which also cleans up everything. Now, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content and guides. I'd really appreciate any feedback on this guide, so please let me know in the comments down below if this video has helped you at all or not. And come say hi on Patreon and hang around in Discord. Stay in touch. Thank you for watching. Yoken out.